Books held its annual Spelling Bee fundraiser, the event helping to raise money for their mission of providing books and encouraging lifelong reading. Our Marissa Thomas stopped by the event tonight to check out the organization. Good evening, Marissa. Good evening, Mike. It was definitely a buzzworthy event as people took their stage with their team spelling those words out. Also, Erie News Now, Tracy Tudup was one of the MCs for the evening. Keller's Comedy Club was packed for a night of spelling A -N -C -E. and fun. I'm having a great time. I've never been to Keller's, but I really, this is a lovely establishment and I'm having a blast up there at the Spelling Bee. Hooked on Books for Kids had its 15th annual Spelling Bee. Companies and organizations from around the area came prepared to compete for a good cause. My teammate and I have been studying just fervently every night, hours. I, I'm pouring over my, my vocabulary lists, really, you know, hours at a time. It's awesome that it's such, you know, for such a good cause. And, you know, it was great to hear, great to hear them up there talking about, uh, you know, everyone that they've helped so far. And I look forward to, you know, being able to contribute to helping people in the future. President of Hooked on Books for Kids, Dean Baldwin, says this event helps raise money for the books they give out through the year. Last year we gave away something around 20,000 books. Since we were founded in 1990, we've given away over half a million books just in Erie County. And why is it so important to give out these books? It's vital because children who don't learn to read by third grade or aren't proficient by third grade have very high rates of dropout, delinquency, uh, because they get so frustrated at school because they can't read. Also at the event tonight, they had auctions, games, and a contest for the Best Costume Award. To learn more about the organization, you can click on the Hooked on Books for Kids link on our website at eerienewsnow.com. Live in the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.